Hi friends, and welcome to Cosplay Kitchen. I hope you're ready to stand out from the crowd, because today I'm cosplaying Max. We're making Hi Dad vegetable soup. So hop on in, join the party, and let's get started. The key to any really great soup is developing flavor. So we're gonna be taking all our vegetables, celery, potatoes, onions, and carrots, and we are gonna be roasting them in the oven to help develop some flavor. We're gonna add in tomato paste. The reason we're adding in tomato paste is not only is it gonna to help to create some of that beautiful roasted flavor, but it's also going to help to caramelize and build in those natural sugars that are inside of the vegetables. We also wanna make sure to add in salt. Salt is extremely important, especially when you are roasting, as it helps to pull out the moisture that's inside of the vegetables. And we're going to be roasting these vegetables at about 425 degrees for roughly 15 to 20 minutes or just when they start to turn color. So we're going to take all of these vegetables and put them on a large roasting pan. And when you're roasting vegetables or anything for that matter, one of the very important things that many people forget is to make sure to spread it out well on a pan. By trying to make this all this happen on a small pan does you no good. You need to have room for air to move around the vegetables, heat to move around the vegetables, or anything else you're roasting for that matter. Otherwise, instead of roasting, you're going to be stewing, which is good in and of itself, but definitely not the flavor we're looking for today. So make sure you have plenty of room to spread everything out and we're gonna stick that in our 425 degree oven. So the Goofy movie holds a special place in my heart, not only because Goofy is my favorite character, but I went and saw that movie for my 10th birthday. Go ahead, Google the year it came out and do the math. I'll wait. All right, are you done? Okay, let's get back to cooking them. We're gonna take roughly about one quarter of our vegetables and we're gonna put it into our pot. Why one quarter? Because we're going to go and use an immersion blender to blend this up. If you don't have an immersion blender, no worries. You can use a regular blender. Just make sure to take the lid off so that it doesn't explode at you. What we are creating right here is mouthful. That warm, velveting feeling when you have a really great soup. We put the vegetables into some beef stock. Now the difference between beef stock and beef broth is that beef stock is made with bones. It helps to give it a little bit of a richer feel. So now that we've started to develop that mouthfeel, we can go ahead and add in the rest of our vegetables. Now at this point in time, you should have the heat on underneath your stock. We're getting it nice and warmed up. So in this pot, We've got about six cups of beef stock. To that, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of thyme, dried please if you will, and about a teaspoon of garlic powder, not garlic salt because we're gonna be adding a little bit of salt right now. Only just a little bit because we wanna be able to adjust later on after it's cooked. Then a couple of grounds of black pepper, just like with the salt, not too much now because we're gonna add in more later. Then, what self-respecting high dad soup would be complete without our alphabet noodles. So we're going to add in about a cup of those. Now you're going to want to be cooking it for whatever is the maximum time listed on the manufacturer's package. Mine says 12 minutes, so I'm going to cook it for about 12. But do make sure halfway through you give it a check to see how the flavor is doing. So I'm going to come back and check mine in about 8 minutes. All right, so it's been about 12 minutes. I went and tested it about halfway through, roughly at about eight minutes, and it was doing well. Time to give it another test. I suspect it may need just a little bit more salt. Yep, 
Yeah, needs a little bit more salt and just a tiny bit more pepper and then it'll be fantastic. Mm. Mm. Fantastically warming. I don't even care if Bigfoot is ravaging my campsite. If I have this, I'm good to go. It's a soup that I always wanted to make growing up watching Goofy Movie. Like I said, I love that movie. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite cult classic movie from growing up. If you had a good time today, be sure to throw us up a like, maybe even consider subscribing. Be sure to check us out on both Facebook and Instagram. And in the meantime, don't eat yellow snow.